gets out of the uh, bit of trouble there. Bucket goes now to Steele. In goes McClure, he's used a lot of weight. Good play on the part of a veteran there. In scoring. I just hope point. that Demetrio and Corkamilis don't get into a mix up. <laughs> now towards half back or half forward flank, depending on which team you follow. It's McClure again. Hooks it back up towards the half. Up the, the job again. Johnston has the free kick after Schimmelbush's kick went out of bounds on the full. A real chance for a Carlton score here. Is that a mark to McClure? It is. What did you think of that one, Bob? Is that a grab? Be shown to Mark McClure. McClure directly in front, 20 metres out. Couldn't possibly miss from there, and he hasn't. It's a goal, and Mark McClure. Expect a lot of him. Six marks to McKenzie. Oh, mark or point. I reckon it's a, <laughs> it's a goal now. Oh, North players are asleep down there. Oh, it took a doze. It sums it up, Pete. It really Rhys Jones, and I think this is his first kick in League 5, second kick for Carlton as he kicks it towards half forward. McClure's there, takes the mark. They need him firing as he gets a hand pass to Buckley. Buckley fires at the goals a long way. It swings back. And it's a goal that Carlton kicked by Jimmy Buckley. Oh, no, the umpire calls play on. Rhys Jones drives in toward McClure. McClure takes the mark. A good mark to Mark McClure. So he's within kicking distance. No doubt about it. He's got a great pair of hands, Mark McClure. He got front position. He really grabbed that in a vice-like grip. Well, the last shot for goal only moments ago just failed to make the distance. This time he's within, well within scoring distance, only about 35, 40 metres. The kick by McClure, drifting toward the left-hand goal post, but I think it got through for a goal. It has a goal to Mark McClure. He kicks his first goal, and boy, did Carlton need that one side of the ground goes with the left foot down toward McClure and a little nudge out gives him the mark. McClure takes the mark, gets a hand pass to Mark Koo. Mark Koo goes toward goal, shoots for Carlton and he's brought up a Carlton goal. Got a kick of himself, I haven't had many. Reed kicks down toward the full forward zone. A chance now for McClure to shoot toward goal. It's a high floating punt kick toward the goal and the umpire said all clear and Carlton kicked their sixth lead by umpire side bottom. Reese Jones, let's fly with a kick. McClure, good mark, a good mark at centre half forward. Over the top of Fing been penalised. Now the umpire calls play on as Glash get drives up to McClure. Good mark taken by McClure. Hunter breaks away from that pack to try and make position. It's McClure can see a lead. He sees one all right. It's a good pass too, and he fought right down to Ashman. Got pushed in the back by Roberts too, and he will take the free kick. Rod Ashman playing short now finds McClure. McClure can have a shot at goal. It's going close. It's a goal kicked by Mark McClure from the half forward zone. Joe Carlton doing well in the second out by Roberts and Meldrum will take the free kick. So he goes into the full forward zone again, looking for Hunter, but Hunter can't get into position. McClure did though. And McClure takes the mark only 25, 30 metres out from goal. But no doubt about uh, Mark McClure, he's got a tremendous... Hello, there's a bit of a blue on up yeah, there, just, blue, just behind McClure. But... Mark's good team player, Mark. He's only 30 metres out directly in front. The Blues well on top. He stabs at that one, no doubt about it. He's put it through for a goal. Yes, well done. On his sixth kick, McClure gets the goal. Two goals now. So St Kilda on this free kick now. He'll probably kick long to McClure. McClure is one out. He's led. Beautiful lead by Mark McClure. Tremendous football. That was a beautiful lead. He led late. Uh, Hunter waited till he had led before he kicked the ball. And... Uh, uh, Andrew Bennett had no chance whatsoever. Two, coming up for 3-2, possibly. Only 30 metres out, laid back on that one a little bit, and I think he got it. Yes, it's a goal to Mark. Bush is in the back there, Another McClure's lead. led again. Up in front, Mark McClure, there's no doubt about him. Well, in my opinion, my humble opinion, Jack, he is the best man on the ground at the Well, he's going for his fourth goal. Sticky fingers, Mark McClure, as he uh, fires at the goals. And the goal up, I said, that's your fourth goal, Mark McClure. On the ground, Aspen, a long torpedo punt. Where's oh, McClure? In the back. It's pushed out, and the umpire saw it. Oh, he Mark, had to see oh, it. Oh, no doubt about it. Oh, you called it, Jack, and uh, McClure, 40 metres, 35 metres out. Pink range, going for his fifth goal, going for Carlton's 15th. Looks good from here. The umpire said all clear, and Mark McClure kicks his fifth goal. He is in the handballs to... Uh, Oh, so there's work. Hartney having a little chip shot up to McClure and McClure from 35 metres out, 45 degree angle has a chance to score 
goal number, what is it, six. Got on the right side of the ground as far as the wind is concerned as he fires. Lays back, goal up by Vickers said that's a goal. Yes, it is. Six goals to mark the floor. And six out of 21 it is. For... Well, Jones receiving from McConville. Glendinning in front. Oh, here's McClure. Gets away. Beautiful pass, Mark McClure. Magnificent football to Hunter. And Hunter is... Bad miss picked up by Johnson. The ball up toward the square. It's McClure in the goal square. The ball running away from him. McClure tackle. Got a hand pass back to Reese Jones. No opposition. Jones shoots out. A good piece of football. Found Jimmy Buckley. Jimmy Buckley let it go on that occasion for Blackwell. Blackwell kicks it in toward the full forward zone. And McClure takes a diving mark. North Melbourne have changed their lineup somewhat. Good parking to put McClure down at full forward with the breeze. There's the kick. He's normally a pretty good kick, Mark McClure. No doubt about that one as he puts down. She'll come. It won't make the distance up. They'll fly. Big uh, McClure takes the mark for Carlton within kicking distance only 15 metres out. And looking back, Shivelbush in the hand. Oh, they yes. Need it. North have got the run on. She said we want to lose Shimmer. McClure. 15 out from goal. Point blank range, kicks it high, kicks it wide and kicks it. He plays on. Here goes Fraser Murphy from the forward pocket. He looks for McClure and McClure takes the mark. In front of Smith, too experienced, too strong. So uh, a chance for Carlton to go. McClure kick a goal. Can Carlton go back in front on Seven's big league? All the action from Prince's Park. Yes, it's true. So the Blues back in front. Pete, it's been a great game. Up towards the half forward line. Oh, he's taken it. <laughs> he jagged it. Mark McClure. I think he surprised himself. He's instructed him to do so. And you can see by that drop puck from Mark McClure, which sails straight through the middle. That's what they're doing. 3-1. Plays two behind on seven. There's an opportunity now of uh, pushing the Blues further ahead. And Bobby, at the moment, I know it's only early, but they are starting to gain an ascendancy without some of their very good players, like your Johnstons and your Reese Jones. Yes, well, the, some of those younger players, Robertson and Rode, are doing a, a fine job for their side. Robertson in the centre against Williams as McClure lines up. 15 metres out. Goals. Two goals to Mark McClure. McClure playing at full forward. Reese Jones alongside him in the pocket. Well smothered. It comes out now, and we find Johnson putting the ball forward, and it's McClure to take the nice mark. It wasn't Johnson, it was Peter Rode who put that ball forward. 86 to 50 as Mark McClure goes for goal number four. And from the boot of Mark McClure, it's 14-8, 92, with Geelong on 7-8-50. One when he gets going, he really sets them alight. Uses the Curly Austin drop punt. McClure! The drop punt for McClure is good. Goal number five to Marcus. Two in this term. They're going to career. Wise to Elvin from the centre of the ground. Elvin straight down the ground. No mark taken. And McClure picks it up, snaps towards goal. Number six for Mark McClure. Oh, they're on fire now. Six goals to Mark McClure, and it's Carl. Well, if he's half as good as John Nichols, he'll be a brilliant player. A point. Mark McClure. I'm in trouble. Caught. Baines again, tackled by Conley. McClure, 10 metres out, goals. The Carlton coming back at Melbourne now. That's his first goal in the time on pitch. Right, that's his tag. He's got him well covered. As the ball finally comes out to McClure again. A quick hand pass, a ripper. Always, I guess, uh, start in the side. But David Parkin seems to prefer him to come on as an interchange player. He always does well when he does. Blackwell off the ground. McClure, here's danger. McClure goes for the hand pass. Blackwell, goal. Great play, Carlton. Two with that characteristic left foot drop punt. McClure is the target, did he push him? No, said John Russo. He can have a shot. McClure, 35 metres out from goal, almost directly in front. Goal for goal here at Windy Hill at the moment, and Mark McClure does not change that. Thank you, Sellers, they say, as Carlton moved to 3-3, leading Essendon two straight goals. And does so, a la John Beckwith.
And oh, it's scooped back into play. That was by Hal, straight to Peter Road. McClure, two grabs, and he's got it. Lovely play there by a moment, Bob, and there are players. But let's watch McClure with the drop punt. Mark fires away, and he's been pretty dead-eyed dick this season, and that is no exception. It's left to Sheldon, and Sheldon clears. And Sheldon kicks the ball out there towards the wing position. Down goes Magazzi, following the ball up now as McClure. He's played a pretty good game up to this stage of the match. Gets around to a point. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't have paid that. That player, Peter Rowe, ran towards the centre, trying to edge around the play on. He gives the pass to McClure. McClure marks at centre half foot. The 45 metres out, possibly... 50, the ball on its way, it's close, it's a goal to Carlton, kicked by McClure. So McClure kicks his first goal for Carlton. The boundary umpire, and Madden doing well, but beaten by Ruse on that occasion. Charles McClure gave it to Ashman, Ashman on the left foot going goalward. It's a goal! Kicked by Ashman, Carlton coming back. Out of bounds, and just cunningly enough not to be caught by the umpire. A terrific game here at BFL Park, four points the difference in favour of Fitzroy. It's been, uh, uh, as we see, McClure, he picks it up. Mark McClure, I think he's put it through. What a goal to the great Carlton ever. McClure, a nice old heave That must be a free kick. Well, you disgusted with the decision. Well, I don't reckon. Uh... And Mark McClure, well within kicking distance. He's only about 30 metres out from goal. He's got it. So McClure puts Carlton in front. Too fast. New in front this time, McClure outmarks him for the second time in 30 seconds. Side of the boot, Corkamila swings the ball back, looks for Hunter. That's a beautifully placed oh, kick. Hunter right. immediately hand passes. So too, across to Fraser Murphy from McClure. Murphy hand passes. Carlton under a bit of pressure, but now Rhys Jones picks it up straight towards goal. And Rhys Jones brings up what is for him. The eight of the breeze, it's a shocking kick from Wayne Johnson. McClure with a favourite. So Mark McClure having the advantage of being in the right position only two points. And Mark McClure, this kick, Bob. Brings up his first goal. And so Mark McClure sees 20 points. Collingwood 49, 21 and a half minutes into the third term. And Carlton doing it well. They're going to come home with the breeze. McClure fires and he goals. That's going to make it hard for the Maggies now. Mark McClure scores his second goal. Two goals, three is his contribution. Into attack again by... Oh, beautiful Mark to McClure. And so McClure, 45 metres out, three. Will he make the distance? The distance he'll make, accuracy as well. Three goals to Mark McClure and Carlton go to 13 goals. At the moment. Kick from Glascott in towards full forward. The back was Bays. McClure, number four. Thank you, says Marcus. And Sellers posts another. Gathers it well. Tackle gets a hand pass in. McClure's there for Carlton. He slips. The kick by McClure. Looks like a goal. Carlton. Two goals in a couple of minutes.
the full forward position, the bustle going, McClure, what a beautiful mark! Ah, positioned himself in a, a beautiful that time to take that mark. Fifth goal. There it is, on its way, and that's a goal. So Carlton move on to five goals, two, 32 points to North Melbourne. Lean down to half forward, plenty of North Melbourne jumpers are there, where did McClure come from? Like Royce Hart at his best, Mark. Fraser Murphy, Jill Bradlow medalist, long up towards centre field. Glasgow has kicked two goals, been a fine player for Carlton. Pass more late in the scene. McClure shrugs it well. Hunter, will he give a hand pass? Yes, he will. Murphy to goal, sneak in the square, dumps it. Great play, Carlton. Started by Mark McClure. Murphy put through his first goal. Melbourne, the ball driven up there by Dean. Coming in is Greg. Oh, great mark. That's the third great one he's taken tonight, McClure. He's played a great pass. Coming over now to Reed. A long kick up there to McClure. He's got the chance to mark this one. Punched away by... Oh, good play by McClure. Got it back to Murphy. Murphy over to uh, Sheldon. Fresh air shot, but he won't give in. Back to McClure. This will be a goal. Yes, McClure got it through. Through to McClure. That was great play by Sheldon. Also, beautiful play by McClure to tap it back to him. So it's 9 number 3 and McClure playing a splendid game of attack for Carlton tonight. And as I said, where did he come from? Late on the scene, certainly fine mark, wasn't it? Certainly, Pete. Let's say it was uh, McClure at his best, too. Yeah, well, that's right. But the hallmark of Royce Hart coming in from the side. 217-game veteran, Mark McClure. That's not a bad goal. Yes, it's through. Two goals to Mark McClure. Carlton and light at the moment. And David Parkin having the better of his, uh, shall we say, mentor. Here's the bounce again. Taken away by Burke. Looks to get the handball out, and it goes straight to McClure, and he's gone. Well, an expensive, expensive handball as Mark McClure plays Melbourne. As for the Blues, they can't afford to lose. They want to hold the spot. Shane Williams waiting down. Tackled by Murphy. A great tackle. McClure picks it up. Fires in towards full forward, but he's off target. How's the bounce? Charts come back. Jimmy Hicks spin has done the trick and Sellers McClure has gold and suddenly the Blues are alight. Drifts down towards McClure with a torpedo punt and he's in front and he takes it. So Mark McClure. Long runner. And uh, a beautiful his goal, the margin is 18 points. Flanagan prepares to replace Burke. As was making an attacking player in his opposition. And another great mark to Mark McClure. Hold hard, both of them, but uh, they haven't had any decisive uh, play at all. As we see, a chance for Carlton here through McClure. He's caught, punches it away. Fraser Murphy chips it back to McKenzie. And Warren McKenzie, the Carlton player, I feel it's McClure. Yes, it's Mark McClure about to take this ball. Yes, a very hard shot, though. We did say before when Harms had it on that side of the ground, he would be kicking into the breeze, and that's no exception here because the breeze is blowing straight across the ground into the face of Mark McClure. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went for a short pass, although there isn't anyone I can see that can give it to. Hunter's trying to make a bit of a lead. He's, he's tried for the shot at goal. He's kicked it up high, and a good mark taken by McKenzie. Over the top of Fitch. John Mark in the centre of the ground. This game in slow motion at the moment, a 60 metre kick. Oh, what oh, a mark. mark, a beautiful mark. He's got a great pair of hands, Mark McClure. They only on needed one of them that play. time too, because that was a great mark. Stuck up one hand and brought the ball down from Mark. So 25 minutes into the final term. attack through Rowe. For the first time in the match, Rowe up towards full forward with Mark McClure. The unmistakable Mark McClure. And what a player this fellow's been for Carmeters. That he'll get the distance with this tricky wind. Probably have to aim for the right uh, goalpost. We'll see. McClure puts it through. Carlton level scores at the five and a half minute mark of the opening term. It's been a pretty rough and tumble affair. Kick an amazing goal in the second quarter at the other end. With a long kick. Great mark, McClure. Well, he hasn't been in the play that much, Mark McClure. Comes over to Johnson. He's clear. And the Carlton skipper lets go at uh, half forward over to McClure. McClure gets clear as his opponent falls over. Perry, a snap and goal. And he's got a through for a goal. That's his second. So it's 51 points the difference now. 17 goals. <laughs> up 
to centre field. Oh, McClure! The Carlton have taken some sensational marks this afternoon. The hands are bucked and they go back into attack again. A chance for Reese Jones. He goes down, he picks it up, he's grabbed down a, over to McClure. McClure whips his way through the pack, fires at the goals. Another one to Carlton. They're bouncing back. And McClure's first, so it's Hawthorne. Seven goals, 8 50. Road in line for the best first year player this year. McClure up a lovely mark to Mark McClure. He's on the right half forward flank. Has Peter McCormick as his opponent. Phillips lining up against Warren Wells. Let's have a look at his kick. He has a look up forward. Dropping back was McConville. McClure behind will go and does. The Carlton boys by giving them a chance to get it out and eventually Dean does. Across to Rowe. To the half forward line. Hunter couldn't take it. McClure. Back again to Murphy, has pace, has he got enough pace? Two bounces as Fraser, fires with the left foot into the pocket, and the mark has been taken in that position by Gennard. Going short, back pedals to McClure.